So have you ever worked with this stuff? It's nicknamed Punchinella. Welcome back friends. So today's tiny tip is just about this little stuff. Um, this is the plastic ribbon, I guess you would call it. They call it on this uh, Chicago ribbon. Um, this is what's left over when they make sequins. And what better way to get circles, right? This is like an instant and very large roll of, you know, stencil. You could cut into this, which is what we're going to do today. And uh, you'll see how great this stuff is. It's nice and thin. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're on this first one. This is in progress. So I, all I did was put some black down and I cut into the punchinella and, and with a curve and then put part of it on the top, part of it on the bottom. And now I'm picking up a deli paper. I'm doing a second sheet to get as much off the plate as I possibly can, but that paint dried really fast. But that's okay. So look at how nice and sharp it leaves and look at that deli paper. I mean those dots on the deli paper are going to make excellent collage paper. You're going to see through those transparent areas. It's going to be great. Now this is quinacridone red. I'm going to use that to pick this up. Or not really to pick it up. It's my second layer. Let's let's put it that way. And I'm going to take another piece of punchinella and just lay it down like a stamp almost for some additional texture. It just like lifted some of that quinacridone red. Now I have to wait for this paint to dry. Um, I'm, this is Nova paint so it's going to dry really really fast and I'm going to pick up with another color. So I'm going to pick up with the Hansa yellow. I have a little bit of white mixed in there but I'm still going to add some additional white. I like when the white doesn't completely mix and we get these little blobs. I'm picking up with rice paper. And because this paint dries so fast, I'm probably going to wait about like a minute and a half. This video is sped up just a tiny bit, but it's just know that I left it a minute and a half. Now if your paint is slower drying paint then you have to wait longer. Just always keep that in mind. And I'm curious what this yellow is going to do to the transparent quinacridone red but also in the areas where we stamped it's the yellow is going to show through 100% through those areas. So I think this is going to be a nice print. So if you haven't used Punchinella before and you don't know where to purchase it, I got it on Amazon. I kept looking for it at Joann's, but I, I never found it. So um, I just went on Amazon and I had to buy an entire roll of it. But I think it's going to be a good investment because, I'm, like I said, I definitely do like those transparent dots with the deli paper. So if for nothing else, it is worth it just for that. Now you can use them again and again because it is plastic, but, um, and you could share with friends, like, a, you know, a couple of you could go in on a roll and, you know, cut it all up. You can make all sorts of shapes. So I'm very happy with the way this came out. This is a fun piece of collage paper for sure. I especially like the black areas, but even where I just used it as a stamp. Now you saw how lightly I was press. You know, I didn't even press down on it. I just like let it touch the paint and lift it. So this time around, I'm going to try my uh, turquoise mixture that I made last week. It's um, phthalo turquoise 
mixed with some Hansa yellow and some white. And I'm going to use my curved things again, just because I like it. But I'm going to try different shapes. And I'm, I'm also starting with the um, deli paper because I like it to leave me a ghost. And I also like the deli papers. And so, of course, because it's deli paper, we don't have to wait. We can pick it up right away. You know, and you could also lay these in strips and just make collage paper with that. Just have a nice dotted collage paper. Okay, so I am going to start once again with some quinacridone red. I think these two colors will look nice together. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. Instead of just using it as stamp, we're going to overlay it on that other deli sheet. And we're probably going to get some subtraction going on here. And as you could see, my my little circles are sort of offset, so it's giving us that really cool sort of, um, you know, printer offset when, when it's not quite registered look. Okay, so now I'm, I'm putting down Hansa Yellow again with a little bit of white. and not mixing it too well on purpose. I'm picking up with rice paper. And again, like I said, minute and a half maybe. But let's take a look at this deli sheet. So because I overlaid, but I didn't line it up perfectly we got that sort of, you know, slightly off look. Um, if, if you're familiar at all with a printing press that's like made from dots, um, you know, when they're blown up, that's how they look. Of course, it would also be yellow in there too, because it's, you know, cyan, magenta, uh, yellow and black. I'll have to try to do one like that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But I absolutely love the way this one came out because of that offset. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so just to recap our little tiny tip, we started with this deli paper, which I think is a fabulous, fabulous thing to have in your stash. Um, then that led us to this three-layer print, which I think came out great. And then we switched up the colors a little bit and we overlaid. So we have a little bit of a, you know, optical illusion happening with the dots. And then that led to this paper. So we have a great selection here. So I'm happy with all of them. Very pleased with this session entirely. Give it a try. So thanks for watching. I don't know why I haven't tried this sooner. I've heard about it. Other people have uh, been using it. I was just a little slow getting to that. <laughs> I kept looking for it every time I went to Joann's. I couldn't find it. Finally, I just got her on Amazon. I had to buy a lot more than I really needed and wanted, but I'll have it for probably ever. Anyway, so give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Don't forget to create, inspire, and share, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.